Welcome to the Busy to Balance podcast. I am your host, Jamie Zweer, and I'm the founder of Oh How Healthy. This podcast is all about how to show you, the overworked, overwhelmed, and occasionally unhealthy woman, how to find health and balance in all different areas of your life. I will share with you digestible, bite-sized bits of info on everything from balancing a healthy plate to keeping a healthy home and everything in between. Now listen, I know that you are busy and that is why I will keep these episodes short, sweet, and to the point. Now let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back to the show. I have Vanessa Page from Hungry Harvest on today. And Hungry Harvest, I don't know if you've seen in previous videos, if you heard me talking about it on my Insta stories, but Hungry Harvest is a really great place. They deliver produce to your door, and I'm going to let Vanessa dive in deeper and tell you more about it. So welcome, Vanessa. Please introduce yourself and tell us all about Hungry Harvest. Yes, thank you so much for having me, Jamie. Yeah. Um, so I am the Philadelphia market manager at Hungry Harvest, and we are a rescued produce delivery company on a mission to end food waste and hunger. So how we are doing that is we are rescuing produce, which might sound you know like a lot of things to do. You're like, what is rescued produce? <laughs> uh, but uh, it's actually produce that would go uneaten for aesthetic imperfections, logistic errors, and surplus uh, reasons. And so basically this produce would normally end up in a landfill, um, and go to waste for just the most random of reasons. And we're creating curated boxes of that produce, sending it to your doorstep on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And then for every box, we're donating um, produce to hunger solving organizations as well. That is, it's really, really, really cool. I mean, not only are you local, but you're saving food <laughs> and you're able to get food, healthy food on people's counters, you know, in their kitchen for a discounted price, which is yeah. really cool. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have a bunch of sizes um, for our boxes. We have a uh, mini, full, and a super. And so the mini harvest, which is our most popular harvest, serves around one to two people. And it's around 10 pounds of produce for $15. Uh, So in that box, you would get a leafy green, two to three fruits, four to five veggies. And then you also have access to our add-on market where you can get things like cage-free eggs, granola, gluten-free bread. Um, There are just so many different options. It's really great. That is, you know, it's such a great cause. And I took a quote from your site. It said you save 40% of food and 20 billions of pounds of that produce is just from, it, it, you know, is, is wasted before it even leaves the farm. Is that true? Um, yeah, so there, uh, 40% of food goes to waste in the United States in general, and that includes, like, you know, um, the food that you would buy from the grocery store that goes to waste in your fridge that you just don't end up getting around to, or, yes. um, you know, buffet food that you would see at a hotel or something like that. So it's like a, a 40% of food in general goes to waste, and around, um, I think it's 18 or 20% of that goes to waste on the farm and wholesale level. So that's that stuff we don't even see. So for instance, um, you can have a farmer who just grows too much corn one season and then they won't be able to um, sell it. So what do they do with that corn on, on their, um, their farm? They probably are going to till it under for soil for next year, or they're going to toss it away um, and put it in a landfill. And so um, what we're doing is we're buying um, on that farmer on a wholesaler level, that food that would be perfectly good that could end up on your table that could be sold in like a whole foods. Um, but we're just putting it in a boxes, sending it to your doorstep for that discounted rate. That's, that's awesome. And how uh, you do the same thing at the grocery stores also, where if something is maybe disfigured or discolored, where it's still perfectly great to eat, that's where you rescue food as well? So um, our rescuing produce from grocery stores, is mainly um, a logistic error. So, for instance, you have Walmart where they'll order two trucks of sweet potatoes and then um, the day of, they realize they only need one truck of sweet potatoes. So, like, what happens to the other truck? So, what we're doing is we're buying directly, um, like, for the like through those logistic errors, basically to get that, um, box, you know, that entire um, 
truck of sweet potatoes to come to us and then mm-hmm. get distributed out to our clients, um, our customers. So uh, that's something that we're doing uh, when we work with grocery stores specifically. It's less of the, um, you know, if you imagine yourself like going to the grocery store buying experience and you're like, ooh, I don't want that avocado. It looks a little soft. Yeah. Like we're not buying that kind of produce. Like it's still perfectly good things that you would sell. You would sell in a grocery store. We're just buying from the wholesaler or the farmer that ends up um, sourcing that uh, store, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. And when you said you donate food, because we don't realize how lucky we are sometimes, right? We are probably listening to this podcast on a phone. We have food in our fridge, food in our belly. We don't really realize how lucky we are where there's people in the world that don't have any food or aren't getting any fresh food at least. So how is um, Hungry Harvest contributing to that? Absolutely. Um, so we are very privileged um, for the most part. And so I think that like we don't and also we don't see a lot of people who are experiencing food insecurity because um, like for instance on a college campus um, you have a lot of students who are going to school which might seem like you're elite in um, being in a college environment but a lot of people are food insecure and like not sure where their next meal is coming from so um, although like you know you might think of the person that has less than everybody else it's actually there are a lot of people who are um, dealing with food insecurity so one thing that we're doing um, like in Philadelphia specifically is we're donating produce to uh, Phil Abundance and Phil Abundance feeds over 90,000 miles a week. Uh, and so we help support their programming just by giving them produce that they can use, um, for, you know, their Friday, um, like the, the Friday distributions that they do and um, different programming they do around uh, the Philadelphia County and out, outside of Philadelphia County. Um, and we also, in our other markets, um, have this program called Produce and the Staff where uh, we've had these pop-up markets where people can buy low-cost produce uh, for $7 and um, they can use their SNAP benefits or cash or credit, whatever kind of transaction that they would like to do. We found success with this in Baltimore at uh, schools, community centers, hospitals, um, things like that and uh, we're hoping to expand this program to Philadelphia in the coming months which is super exciting yeah I love that I love how I mean how could you not want to support a company that is supporting so many other people you know and I, that's why I love supporting local companies. Yeah, absolutely. And for Hungry Harvest, like, although we are a national company, I think that we do a really good job of localizing our market. So we're headquartered in Baltimore, but we have our Philadelphia market. And we do a lot to focus on how we can make an impact uh, locally with the, you know, community organizations that we're involved with, the partners that we have, um, like people like you, where, you know, you're such a good advocate for, um, like, a healthy living and ha- happy, happily balanced lifestyle. Yeah. Um, that like you know it's like you're like the perfect voice for a product like this where it's like just like wholesome food delivered to your door um, in a convenient way to kind of keep you uh, balanced like you know throughout and like keeping you meeting your goals so I, yeah. I think it's it's just like we, we try our best to uh, be as local as possible um, in what we're doing or at least, at least in the messaging what yeah. we're doing yes absolutely absolutely so um, well what I love about I, what I love about Hungry Harvest and, you know, why I'm such a big advocate of it is um, not only is, you know, I've recently discovered food delivery services, whether it was from places like Walmart or Wegmans or ShopRite. But um, so I love that aspect, how it saves time. And the women listening to the show, like they're all about saving time. They're all about saving money. They're all about simplifying healthy eating, essentially. Um, so I love that aspect. In addition to that, in addition to really um, helping save time, but it's also saving money. So saving money is great. You know, I don't really spend that much at the grocery stores, but this Hungry Harvest is even more inexpensive. But what I love the most is that... You get a box delivered to your to your doorstep every single week if you plan to, you know, get it every week. And it it really encourages someone to eat healthier and it's a it's a reminder. So if you're trying to create these good healthy habits, especially each January, everyone's, you know, maybe trying to start getting in a healthy lifestyle, um it just serves as a, such a nice reminder to say, "You know what? I should eat some more fruits and veggies this week." Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And um, we also send out an email that comes out um, at, like right after you kind of set your harvest, like the next day um, when that kind of window closes for you to like make any changes that you want to make. Um, you'll get uh, 
of an email called This Week's Harvest that goes through the reasons why things were um, rejected or why we recovered them. And so you'll see, like, you're like, oh, my apples um, are just, like, misshapen. And, um, oh, these onions just might have a little scarring, like, things like that. So you can see the reasons why, which is kind of crazy. But it also kind of gives you the time to plan what's in your harvest and what you want to do with it over the course of the weekend when you get your delivery um, and how you want to plan that meal. And another thing that we do, which is super cool, is um, on your first box that you get, um, you get our uh, storage guide, which will help you get the most out of your product. So you'll um, see like the best way to store oranges or apples or onions and all of the different produce. And so it will give you little tips and tricks of why those things, um, like how, how to store those things in the most appropriate way so that you end up getting the most, you know, shelf life off of your product. Yeah. I love that. This little storage guide, I think this is what well, I seen it floating around on someone's desk and I was so attracted to it. I was like, I need to get my hands on Hungry Harvest because it is literally so helpful. It not only has these, you know, beautiful images, but it tells you how to sort, how to use it, how to not waste it, how long to keep it for, and like what baggies to keep it in. Like genius. It's so genius. It's so yeah, genius. it's super cool. Our marketing team and customer success team did like an awesome job on it. And it's like super pretty, which I, I love I love. It's like something I want to open every day. I know. I love it so much. And um, I guess we can we can uh, share with the listeners that there is going to be a new guide coming out. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So mm-hmm. we are creating something very similar to the storage guide, but with recipes of, you know, the standard things that you would see in a Hungry Harvest box. Because someday you might get collard greens and you're like, how in the heck do I use collard yeah. greens? Like, what do I make them into? And so we've worked with um, local influencers in all of our different markets um, on ways to create cool um, new recipes uh, that use some of our Hungry Harvest products. So um, we have a bunch of from people featured, including yourself, which is super Yay. exciting. I know. <laughs> I'm really excited to be part of such a pretty book. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm so excited to see how it turns out. And it, yeah. It's going to be filled with images and um, just like very easy, like streamlined recipes. And you get to kind of, and you get to see all of the people that um, we work with too from all of our markets. So it kind of gives you some inspiration on like who to follow on Instagram and like, you know, different social media profiles that kind of uh, mirror the messaging that we're trying to, you know, put out to the world. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, make, making sure you're living like a healthy whole lifestyle, which is exciting. Yeah, so that that just goes hand in hand with how, you know, this doesn't have to be difficult. Now, just to walk the listeners through a process of how they might go ahead and um, place a Hungry Harvest order is because well, what I talk about and, and in my messaging and what I go through weekly through my weekly grocery hauls is that I encourage people to choose what foods, like what meals are going to have each week and then make a grocery list from that initial list of what recipes you want to make that week. Now, if someone wanted to incorporate Hungry Harvest into their weekly um, meal planning, meal prepping guide, shopping uh, list, how do, would they have to do that the week before? How does that typically work? And are there changes made which someone would have to adapt to? Um, yeah, so basically we will put out what's in your harvest. So you get this like email that's a reminder to customize your harvest. You don't actually have to customize, but that kind of gives you this ability to look inside the box before you actually get it. So um, that's uh, for me, My Saturday, I get a Saturday delivery. So I get my um, customize your harvest email on a Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I get my like confirmation, like here's what's in your box. So um, during that time for me, I've always um, like taken the time to look at it see what's in there and then plan around that to see if I have to do any supplementary grocery shopping or if I, you know, want to go out and like, if I'm going to make a soup that weekend, I'm only going to use three of my veggies for that. Then like, it's like, okay, what else do I want to supplement with? If I want to do like chicken or, you know, um, lens bowls, things like that in my, um, box or not in my box, but in, in my recipe. So, um, that said, I would say like for someone who is planning their recipes and planning ahead just to check in on what's in the box and then, um, you know, kind of schedule around that, see if you need any supplementary things and that's a, a perfect opportunity to use our add-on market as well um so say you're gonna need like a lemon for a recipe then you can actually you, you can buy lemons in our add-on market um for like lower than cost that you'd see at grocery stores so um that's an, also an opportunity to kind of build out your harvest so it's more of a one-stop shop perfect perfect yeah i love that so someone could still go ahead and not like get a surprise box like i know some some companies like kind of just give you what whatever is on hand but you know, like a CSA, you don't really have a choice with the CSA. Um, yep. 
So that's awesome that you can still customize your Hungry Harvest box and meet your needs. So, and, um, and then you, just like you said, there's an add on market, which you can buy things like eggs or milk or bread, right? Yep. Yep. You can do, um, egg. We haven't mastered milk yet. So hopefully that's coming. We do have, uh, or we did have coconut milk for a period of time that was in like the, um, boxes. So mm-hmm. it's something like the shelf kind of milk, not like the actual cold milk. Yeah. Um, but we, we do have eggs, we have cheese, we have bread. Um, and then there are like the regular produce staples, like things like avocados, sweet potatoes. And then you have a mixture of stuff now too, which is super exciting where we have like garlic in oil and uh, chili garlic paste and things like that. So it actually helps you add flavor to what you're cooking which is super exciting so um you'll and we do specials too that will come out in those customize your harvest emails so you'll see like okay you can add like um a certain type of squash this week so there might i think there's like kombucha squash or something like that i've never had it before but i've added it on (laughs) because i have never had it um or we just got these uh sparkling probiotic drinks on there which are phenomenal and definitely worth trying so um you can surprise yourself even by looking at our ad on market and just adding new things in there yeah um, which is super cool I was really impressed. Yeah. The, well, the kombucha squash is actually out of stock right now. So it got all taken up. It's been popular. Oh, it's yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. But no, like those um, probiotic drinks, which for a dollar fifty a jar went at the store, $3, $3.50, dollars Like, I come know. on, guys. Like, Oh my gosh. And they're so, so good. The tart cherry one, like, oh yes. gosh, I, I, I bought it pretty much every week for the last couple of weeks that it's been yeah. on there. It's so good. So good. Like, so, so this just really emphasizes um, that that living a healthy lifestyle does not have to be difficult or expensive. I mean, even some things that are on this add on market are things that you know that I would find from you know if you get lucky and you go to like um, Burlington Co Factory or Ross or TJ Maxx and get those specialty items like uh, like uh, this milled flaxseed and pumpkin goji berry mix. Like I seen that at um, TJ Maxx actually in the discounted section. And it's even cheaper here now. (laughs) That's just so great to hear. I actually use that in my smoothies and it's great. Or like in my oatmeal in the morning. um, Yeah. It's like dependent. It's like, it's just honestly a great like extra boost, like on a daily basis yes. for me so um I highly recommend trying that too but it's oh, so great to hear that like you know e- it's even a steal from like the uh discount places that you'd go to shop so <laughs> yeah I know I was like digging through that section we meanwhile people are there like my husband was there to get like you know Ross and TJ Maxx with everything clothes or dog clothes or whatever <laughs> I'm like yeah. in this in the superfood aisle like stocking up on all all the stuff Oh my gosh, I do the same thing. I like buy like every single type of salt, I swear. <laughs> I know, I love it, I love it. So you you have this fresh bread and fresh gluten-free bread, which I get questions all the time about what kind of bread, like certain things like what kind of cheese, what kind of bread, what kind of yogurt, like those questions I get a lot. And I always recommend, I always focus on ingredients versus nutrition label. Because when if you read a nutrition label of typical types of bread, it is like out down, like all covers the whole bread pretty much with all the ingredients. And this is fresh bread, which is what I always recommend. And it's fresh gluten free bread. So, so you just have like special deals with certain bakers. Yeah, yeah. So we, um, we're always looking to like kind of build out who we work with. And Mm -hmm. so there are certain people, so like Sauters, I think is the, uh, company that we use our eggs from and uh, we have jumbo cage free eggs uh, which is just they're awesome eggs like I can't go back now that I've had them for so long um, and they it's like so interesting why they would like why grocery stores wouldn't buy them is because jumbo cage free eggs are like the hardest things to sell because they're normally pretty expensive and then a lot of the times too um, they like have to weigh that like the the eggs individually it's a whole crazy process basically mm-hmm. so if it if an egg weighs too much then it ends up getting like thrown out which is so ridiculous so oh, we're like yeah. that's a perfect good egg even though it weighs it's a little heavier it's a little yeah. heavy set so um we're, we're buying um those eggs from them too and so that's something that just like was a really easy partnership to make to make and so now we've just continued to use uh their service and that like use that partnership so i think it's a similar thing with atwater's bread but we're always looking for new vendors so if there's anybody out there that's interested in um you know, becoming, um, like a partner with Hungry Harvest, like feel free to just shoot me an email. Um, it's Vanessa at hungryharvest.net. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I was picking up eggs the other day and, and you're right when you say once you try really good eggs, you can't go back because, um, I was at, I forget what grocery store I was at, but the whole like row was covered with eggs. And you think about it and you're like, where are all these eggs coming from? Like, and, and so you, you almost like want to double think like your egg purchase and, 
that you know you take quality in the egg and the and the kind of chicken that it came from so those eggs look really great and you're right you can tell the difference in an egg absolutely so vanessa i had one other question just you know for anyone who's going to be on this website and and wants to place an order so there's three different kind of harvests that hungry harvest offers it's the veggie harvest it's a fruit harvest and then there's a mixed harvest right yeah we also have an organic um line of our mixed harvest as well Okay, cool. So how would, so can someone choose an organic only box? Yep. So if you wanted to say you're like, okay, I'm feeding uh, three people. So you could get our, and you wanted it to be organic, you probably could get a full organic harvest and um, then you could do whatever add-ons from there. Or say, you know, one week you're just like, you know, I'm really not feeling fruit. You could get an all, um, all veggie harvest or you get an all fruit harvest and those come in uh, both a mini and a full size and the full size is massive so yeah. um, I would say I would say if you're going to go for a full fruit like you got to have a big family <laughs> feed. Um, but it's it's all the same produce that you get in the box all of it's recovered um, and then so you can just either get it organic or not organic that's great and and even so the largest the super organic harvest is only $50 and <laughs> Like it's that's absurd. That's amazing. <laughs> like, so let's say you spend fifty dollars on your produce for the week, and then you still have like, let's say you try to stick to a hundred dollar budget, you have fifty bucks to go buy meats and breads and eggs and milk with. Like, that's awesome, guys. That's so cool. Yeah, it's such a steal, seriously. And then our, it, our for our super boxes too, they're around thirty pounds of produce, so like you're getting a bunch of stuff. Like I um, just recently got a full harvest, and it had like two containers of our, um, you know, two bags. I think it was like two pounds of green beans, and uh, two bags of Brussels sprouts, and uh, three or four apples, and three grapefruits. Like it's just a massive amount of food for just twenty five dollars. Like it's absurd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> So, and, and again, it's a great reminder to get on your doorstep every single week, every other week, every, every month, whatever it is that you choose. Um, this is just a great thing to incorporate the beginning of the year to get onto your healthy routine, to really emphasize how fun and delicious and, and inexpensive eating healthy really can be. So thank you, Vanessa, for hopping on. Now, how can, well, we have a code to share with everyone. All right, so you get 30% off your first harvest with the code busy to balance and the two is the word two. So busy, the word two, balance, 30% off your harvest. The website is hungryharvest.net. And Vanessa, do you want to add like the social media, how people can contact you specifically? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, thank you so much for having me. This has been such a great time, <laughs> as, as usual. Um, and so if people wanted to follow us on social, it's just at Hungry Harvest on um, Facebook, on Instagram, and I believe on Twitter. Um, and I think we have a Pinterest page, which is super cool. Um, if you want to get involved further, if you become a Hungry Harvest member, we actually have a recipe club um, on Facebook, too, that you can request to be in. I believe it's just a Hungry Harvest recipe club. Um, and then lastly, if... Um, Ooh, if people want to get, get in contact with me and email me, um, my uh, email is Vanessa at HungryHarvest.net. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that you um, have that recipe club because that is super, super cool. Yeah, um, it's so fun. When I, so I was actually a Hungry Harvest customer before I was ever an employee here. Yeah. And I remember just like posting in the recipe club and like you get so inspired from people who are like, oh, we have no idea what to do with rainbow beets this week. And then a bunch of people are like, oh, here's what I did. It's, it's awesome. It's a oh, great like sharing I platform for that. sure. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to have to have you on again. Stay tuned, everyone, for, you know, my boxes that are going to be getting shipped and continue checking uh, us both out to see all the fun, especially that new guide that's coming out with both of us. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Super excited. All right. Well, um, thank you, everyone, for listening.